Call Chris and Amy at 260-9870 or text them at 411-987, keyword right. CA. Interesting, interesting thing that you were told me about here uh, regarding you and your swimming expertise. I thought it was kind of cool. Right. So sometimes I am asked to go around the country and give swim clinics. So you basically work with kids different ages and you work on their stroke technique. You kind of tell them the story about the Olympics. So I was asked to do a couple in my home state of Colorado recently. Okay. And I said, okay, great. Now, it would be for a high school. So the kids are ranging anywhere from, you know, 14 to 18. And when I was talking to the principal and the athletic director, they asked me something that was kind of weird. They said, in order to have me hired to do this, which was only a couple of weeks, they would need to have the username and password for all of my social media accounts. Now, when I coached a Catholic high school here in the Valley, they didn't even ask me for that. I feel kind of violated. I, I told him, listen, I'm not... You can be friends with me on Facebook. You can like my fan page. But that just seems weird. So let me get this straight. So you said, no, I'm mm-hmm. not going to go teach these kids. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to pass on my Olympian <laughs> knowledge and expertise. Come on. Because I have things to hide on my Facebook account. I don't have anything to hide on my well, Facebook account. Well, then why wouldn't account? you give that up? Because I don't let anybody know my Facebook, word, my Facebook password or username. And the reason is because I want to have control over what is on there. I don't give it out. I I don't feel comfortable giving it out. I don't have a problem sitting with them and saying, here's my page, Ziz. (laughs) So then why wouldn't you give it up? Because I don't know whose hands it's going to get into, and then they can put whatever they want to What do you have to hide? Would you stop it? No, I'm serious. Stop it. Amy, I'm dead serious You're being rude. I'm not being rude. Yes, you are. How old are the kids? The kids are 14 to 18. So you're telling me that that because they have Facebook accounts... Mm -hmm. Who and you it? have one. Right. Right. Everybody's got one. Of course That's they do. older than 12. Except for my husband. But yes. You don't think that they're going to friend request you? They can. Right. They absolutely can. And I encourage that. And I want them to. But the thing is, I'm not giving up my Facebook username or password. Done deal. Not happening. I think that's I, perfectly acceptable. Why do you need to have my username and password? Because they're high school kids. Why can't and- you just look at my Facebook page? I, I'm more than willing to share it with whomever wants to see it. I just feel it's very weird that they didn't say, can we see your page? They said, we need your username and password. It's kind of a violation. I don't think, I think that we're in the day and age. Absolutely. It perfectly makes sense. If I had a kid and you were coaching my kid, I would want to, I would want to know. Want to know what? What kind of pictures, where I went to vacation? What, I mean, yeah, I what post- kind of stuff you're into outside of the... That's fine, but listen, it's just for a stroke clinic. I mean, it's just for a couple of weeks. Now, if they were hiring me to be a coach, maybe a different story, although I don't think so. 260-9870. Well, let's say they were hiring you for a coach. Let's okay. let's say let's say you went let's say Notre Dame called up. You used to coach at Notre Dame, right? I did, yes. Okay. So let's say Notre Dame calls up and says, Amy, we want you back, we want you to coach. Which they have. They have, yeah. Okay. I, and I they say in order in order to uh to come back though, we need to have your your Facebook username and password. No. Most of the kids are friends with me on Facebook anyway. The kids are the kids are fourteen to eighteen years old. It doesn't matter. I don't post anything on there that's racy or. How do they know? They can look at it. They can take a look at it without needing my username and password. I feel there is no need to need a username and password. Just go up there and look. I think it's it's perfect. Two six zero nine eight seven zero. You can always text us at four one one nine eight seven keyword C A. Hmm. Um. I just don't know why you would need a username and password. I, you can look at it anytime you want. Because there's wackadoos out there. Well, that's fine. But you can take a look at my Facebook page. I will let you do that. I just feel well, uncomfortable. That's what they plan on doing. You don't even have my username and password. I have yours. I can figure it out. <laughs> you can figure it you out. You told me before. Yeah, I did. I did. What would you do if I gave your username and password out over the air? I would be very uncomfortable. Anyone could post whatever they wanted to. Hey, you talk, you talk to us every single morning. Right. I want to know if my kids are in the car. <laughs> That you're yeah. on the on the up and up. Now you're being overly dramatic. A little as bit. Usual. I'm just trying to make a point, though. Right. For high school. No, listen. So no. what about the administrators? Just the administrators. Then become a fa- a friend of mine or a fan of yours. No, a friend of mine. Peak traffic. And look at it. Okay, it's completely different. Brought to you by your Valley Toyota dealers. Over dramatic. You got a couple of text messages in. Mm. This says, "Drop it, Chris." Thank if you. They asked her for a password. She had every right to turn them down. She does have every right. Thank you. People they have say, every right not to hire. Her. Don't give your, up your password. Don't give up your password. Two of them. Thank you, everybody. I appreciate. Jessica it. Mesa. Hi. Um, I agree with Amy. If Th- they ask you. me for my password or username for anything, that's a violation of privacy because they can look at her Facebook page and see any information that she needs. 
yes. or that they need. There's yeah. companies that don't hire you if you smoke. Oh. That, that, that's that, a totally different story. No, is an outward thing. Isn't well, but, no, not even if at home. Like there's companies that that, that can no. refuse to hire you if you smoke at home. Uh. So that's their choice. But they don't well, have access to her personal information on right. Facebook. She doesn't have to give it up. Changes. All right. Exactly. Yeah. All right. They Thanks, ask for your so, they ask for your social security number. Well, that's fine. What's it's different. different. That's, it, uh, that's different. Okay. It's totally different. I don't see Jessica, how. I don't thank see you, how. love. I thank appreciate Thank you, Jessica. It's 98.7 The Peak. 98.7 The Peak. It's all about variety. Chris and Amy in the morning. Sherry. Chris. QC. I totally agree with Amy. Of course you do. That's, that's an invasion of privacy to ask her for her username and password that gives them full access to her account. A good analogy is, would you give up your password to your bank? Ah, good point, Well, sure. I mean, you're asking the wrong guy. I don't have any money in my bank account, so. <laughs> well, still, same principle. There's, there's, there's just no way to, no way. Now, granted, with all the stuff that goes on with the news about these crazy, whacked out teachers that have affairs with 16, 17-year-old boys, which I don't understand. Well, and wouldn't you be suspicious of Amy? <laughs> no. Amy's happily married. She's a stunning woman, a fantastic swimmer. I'd love to take a stroke class from her. Let me stop. You don't do that? You're being stupid. Would you stop it? Sherry, thank you so much for calling, hon, and have a great day. You're welcome. You guys, too. Bye-bye. Right. Bye, love. 98.7 The Peak. It's all about variety. And girls just want to have fun. Amy just wants to teach the children without right. having to give up her privacy. Yes. Because it's about the children. <laughs> we got a couple more texts in. Uh, by the way, our text number is 411987. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of people actually piping in on this. And this is one of the very rare situations where not everybody agrees with me. Who knew? <laughs> no, that's true. I got. I have an email uh, or a Facebook from Stephanie Schramm. She says, you're correct about the fa- pa- bleh, password on Facebook. Why would you give it up? Dorian Temple said, I was thinking we should probably all have your password and stuff just to be able to see things on your page. I mean, you definitely you should have no privacy. Okay, at the end of this uh, dish, I'm going to go ahead and give out Amy's password over the air. That's fine. Whatever. Are you sure? Well, you're cool with me doing it now, but not. I'm going to give <sighs> it out over you're the air. You're being dramatic. No, I'm just making a point.